Frickin' Mirak was being a psychopath for the longest time. Man, this guy's got a bunch of cards. What are you, like, playing Yu-Gi-Oh over here or something? Good luck, Lydia. By my honor, I pledge to rid Tamriel of dragons. All right, you there, Scully? Oh, God, it's good to see you. Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Skyrim. Okay, last time we defeated Mirak. We used Bendwill to um, persuade one of his dragons to take us up here to his temple. And then we brutally murdered him right there. We have all of his equipment on us. We're going to be moving at a snail's pace until we can get back to our companions because we are heavily over encumbered. And there's not a whole lot that we can drop anymore. So without further ado, let's go ahead and read this black book, Waking Dreams. I think this might take us back to the temple because this is, I think we got Waking Dreams from Mirak's temple. I'm not sure though. Let's go ahead and read it. I love how that opens up. So cool. Boom. Two Solstein. Whoa, there's a smithing. Whoa. What? What's all this madness? Can I, like, do something with this? Clear archery perks. Oh. Clear one-handed perks. So you can get your perks back or something? That's so weird. I don't think we have any perks in the wrong place, so... Uh, I'm gonna drop a save here just in case if we ever need or if I need to come back here for some reason Maybe this gives you perks or something. I don't know. I think it'll clear your perks uh, But yeah, I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and just return to Solstein I can feel it the tree stone is free again The oneness of the land is restored Does that mean Is it over? Is Mirak defeated? Yeah, dude, I whooped his ass. Uh, it's over. Mirak is dead. Storm didn't die for nothing. Mirak will never threaten Solstein again. I killed Mirak, but Harmaeus Mor is still out there. Uh, let's go with this bottom one, because Harmaeus Mor is a threat. It was Mirak who threatened Solstein. With him gone, her memora has been foiled once again. Tell me, though. My father's death. Was it necessary? Was there no other way to destroy Mirak? Uh, I couldn't have defeated Mirak without Storm's help. Hermaeus Mora killed Storm, remember, not Mirak. Hermaeus Mora wouldn't have helped me without Storm's sacrifice. Uh, I still feel like Hermaeus Mora is a threat. Maybe he just threatens me because I'm the Dragonborn. And uh, I think that we still have to, like, deal with him because we have two out of the seven black books collected. I have a feeling that that might have to do directly with Hermaeus Mora because those take you to his realm. Uh, let's go with this top one, though. I couldn't have defeated Mirak without Storm's help. Just try to make Freya, Freya feel a little bit better. Then, it was the Allmaker's will, as he said. I know I should not doubt it, but it is good to hear all the same. Thank you. Listen, Hermes Moore is going to be your problem, too. Friend, if you will. I know it is not my place, but may I offer a word of advice? Of warning? Yeah, of course. What is it? As Shaman of the Skull, I am charged with the spiritual well-being of my people. While you are not of the Skull, you are Skull friend. And so I give you this warning. Hermamora forced you to serve him in order to defeat Mirak. Do not let him lure you further down that path. The Allmaker made you Dragonborn for a higher purpose. Do not forget that. Walk with the Allmaker, Skull friend. Alright, I will. I plan on walking down that path a little bit with Hermes Mora, just until I can murder him. Can you murder Daedric people? Daedric princes? I don't know, maybe you can. I'm not really sure. Oh my god. Inigo, it's so good to see you. Lydia, what's up? <laughs> Let's go ahead and give Inigo some stuff here. Okay, so we're not moving so slowly. Have. Man, he's got a bunch of crap. I don't know if he can actually hold anything else. Let's see. No, he's completely full. Lydia, what's are you next? full? What's on your mind? It would be my pleasure. Uh, she might be full as well. We really need to get back to Bree's home. I think we will do that this episode. Uh, what can I give you? I want to keep Merrick's stuff on me. I guess I'll just start giving her some random crap. We're going to end up selling a bunch of this stuff. Uh, let's see, what else? It's just all this jewelry you can take. You can take those. Um, skull boots. That's weird. Oh, those were... Uh, here, go ahead and put that stupid mask on. God, that looks weird. Those were uh, Storm's boots. I should probably keep those as a keepsake. Uh, and then what else do we have? 
Oh, we're not over encumbered. Okay, cool. Um, so what's next? We have another quest here, the Daedric Knowledge. The black book I found in Hermes Mora's realm contains secrets of Daedra long forgotten to Tamriel. I'm beginning to understand. I must find more. I believe that we need to go talk to that dark elf who helped us uh, get the last black book that we got for that quest line. But for now, we're going to head back to Bree's home. I think we're going to indict Lydia into the blades this episode, and then we need to go get a couple more skeletons to follow us around because we accidentally killed Scully uh, back in Apocrypha. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and head to Bree's home. All right, when you travel back to Sol or back to Skyrim, it takes you here to Windhelm. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this uh, altar and get Scully back. Let's see if I have enough bones. You need at least one of each bone to perform a ritual. I believe Inigo may have some bones on him. He's stuck over there for some reason. I'm gonna go get into his inventory and see what he's got as far as bones go, and then we'll be back there to summon Scully back. Ah, oh, crap! It doesn't look like Inigo actually has any bones on him. That's a real damn shame. Okay, um, I'm sure that we have extra bones at Bree's home, so we'll come back here and do that another time. Alright, before we head back home, I'm gonna come up here and get some training from the dude who runs the Skyforge. I don't know what his name is. Let's see here. Yorland? Yeah, Yorland Greymane. That's what My his name is. My poor Frally, I think Thorald's still alive, but I know better. Aw, oh, crap. Will he even train me? I could have sworn that this was a trainer. Quite a forge you've got here, Yorland. The Skyforge? I, my clan fathers, have worked it since the first Grey Mains came to Whiterun. Skyforge steel is all the companions will use, for good reason. Uh, tell me about yourself. Are you blind, girl? I'm a blacksmith. Any halfwit could see that. Asshole. Who are the companions? By Izmir, are you thick or just too new to know? Oh my them? god! The companions are the oldest, most honored band of warriors in Skyrim. Whiterun was built around their hall, Yorvaska. Don't reckon they could use you, but stranger things have happened. God, this guy is a savage. Are you a companion? Why? Who says I have to be? Skyforge Steel is my art and honor. The companions need the best, so they come to me. Alright, so it looks like this asshole won't train us. That's a real shame, because I needed some training. Let's see what he's got for sale. We need to sell a bunch of crap. I wonder if this guy buys dragon bones. He might not. Let's see. No, he'll buy this chit and plate though. That's it. I think I'll hold on to the chit and plate. Do we have anything in here? Nope. And anything in here? No. Um. Okay, so that was a complete waste of time. I'm going to take some stuff off the companion and sell that to him though. Alright, let's sell this guy a bunch of crap. I just took off of Inigo and Lydia. It wasn't a whole lot actually, because I need to uh, unenchant a couple of those things, I believe at an arcane enchanter. I will do that after I sell this guy the stuff that we have here. Am I still over encumbered? God, I hope not. Am I? Let's see. We done? Okay, cool. I'm gonna head up to the arcane enchanter over by that uh, wizard dude uh, in the Jarl's long call. God, is it good to be back here. It is really intense in Solstein compared to this place. For some reason, when I'm in right run, I feel like so calm. But over in Solstein, it's like, geez, I'm constantly at the edge of my seat. There's so much dangerous stuff going on all the time. There's like werebears, freaking Mirak was being a psychopath for the longest time. Man, this guy's got a bunch of cards. What are you like, playing Yu-Gi-Oh over here or something? Hearthstone? All right, let's go ahead and tr Oh, we don't have to trade him. What am I doing? I'm trying to use the Arcane Enchanter. And I forgot to take the crap off of the, um, what do you call it? The Companions. I got a couple of things here. It's going to give us two enchanting levels, maybe? Or just one? Aw, oh, just one. Okay. Still These here. guys got a bunch of How crap on them that I you, think I can thing. disenchant like that. Minor blocking. Uh, let's just take one of each of these and see if we can get anything out of that. I don't think you can disenchant these for whatever reason. I don't think you can. Uh, archery. I'm not sure if we have that. And then we'll check both of these as well. Let's okay. Going, and then, then what does Inigo right have? He also has a ton of junk. Uh, depleting. It does 40 points of magic of damage. We might not have that. Shock resistance. This is all going to be really good for leveling up. Um, if we don't actually know these. Alteration, stamina, those are stamina as well. Fatigue, uh, water breathing, I don't think we have. And then what's, what's that? No, that's nothing. Wait, what are these? Oh, hauling, carrying capacity. Let's okay, try that. Then. Okay, so what all can we disenchant here? We have the fatigue, we have alteration, restoration, waning shock, minor blocking, major alteration. Do we have one that's weaker than that? Doesn't look like it, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, we got a level up too. Nice. We'll do that in a sec. Uh, alchemy, which is good. Damn, we're getting a ton of enchanting levels. Minor magicka. Does that give us magicka or is it always minor enchantment? Let's see. Uh, where is that? Is it fortify magicka? 
Uh, I don't know, actually, oh yeah, it's right here. Yeah, so it's just, uh, just gives you the spell in general, and then you can make it stronger, depending on your level and stuff. Alright, water breathing, and then boots of hauling. Damn, that is amazing. I'm probably gonna enchant some of our ebony, uh, here pretty quick. Just because there's no real point in not enchanting it. Uh, we can always sell it later, get more ebony. I plan on training some smithing at some of the, uh, smithing training places. If I can ever find one. God, Yorlin was such an asshole, he didn't train me at all. I think that the dude in Riften, uh, will train us. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think that that's another one of the trainers. If not, then I can always look it up online and figure mm -hmm. it out. Alright, so I'm gonna give this crap you back to him so I can run back to, uh, my house. And then we'll put a bunch of this stuff away. And, uh, actually, I'm gonna go sell some of this to Yorland. Because, uh, now we know that we don't need some of this stuff. So yeah, I'll do that. Be praised. All right, Yorland. Oh my God, he's got like no gold. Sir de like dagger. Let's get rid of that. Uh, what else can we sell? And that's really heavy, so let's get rid of that as well. We don't want to sell Mirax sword. These spears are kind of stupid. Actually, are they just arrows? I think they are just arrows. I could have swore that I shot one once. Uh, with out of my bow. All right, we'll give him this shit and stuff. And then what else do we have? We'll give him that cap, and that's it. Okay, but I think we're still uh -huh. over encumbered. Indeed, we are. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna head to another uh, shop real quick and sell the rest of this junk. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. God, I hate you, Bellathor. I'm gonna kill this guy at some point because I think that Yasolda will take over this shop if we murder Bellathor. Everything. I'd even buy. Some may call He's this a real sleazeball as well, so he kind of deserves to die. Let's treasure. get some arrows. We're kind of out of those now. Uh, let's see, steel arrows. Yeah, we'll take those. How much are these? 20 each. They're pretty good though. So let's go ahead and grab some of those. Yeah, whatever. Just give me all the arrows. I don't want those. Do I want those? Yeah, fine. Whatever. We're just taking every arrow that you've got, Bellator, and then we're going to sell you a bunch of our junk. We have a bunch of dragon bones and stuff. I don't know if we should be holding onto those or getting rid of those. I feel like we should probably be getting rid of them. Um, just because, God, it's going to be so long before we can actually use them uh, in any capacity, I think at least, so I don't really know if it's worth holding off and saving a ton of them, because even when you do need them, I don't think you need that many, and we're going to be running into a ton of, um, dragons along the way, uh, throughout this playthrough anyway, so I doubt that we'll be running low on those. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through selling the rest of this crap until he's out of gold. Ooh, speech increase, and he is officially out of gold. Let's give him this. Uh, just because why not? I want to get rid of it. Are we still over encumbered? No. Oh, thank God. I had to kind of walk all the way here. I'm amazed that the guards didn't yell at me because I was using whirlwind sprint the whole way over here. All right, now finally, let's get our asses into Bree's home. Inigo was just saying that skooma is good for nothing. I think it's good for some things. <laughs> I think, what does it actually do? Is it just, I think it just stamina. just increases your, gives you some stamina points or something. It's funny that he noticed that I had some on me though. Where is it? Is it a potion? Might be a potion. Let's scroll down here and see what Skuma actually does. Restores 25 points of stamina. So yeah, it's kind of useful, Inigo. Come on. Don't be a hater. I'm just kidding. I think Skuma's like, uh, crack in this game or something. So it's a real problem. All right, let's head in here. Yeah, people get all addicted to Skuma. We ran into a Khajiit that was like all hooked on it back in one of those Dwemer ruins. And, um, he'd killed his brother over it. So it's pretty crazy. Oh, of course, you know, the Jade Priest, it wouldn't be right if this thing wasn't knocked off when we walked in here. Okay, so we put jewelry and stuff in there and soul gems. This is everything that we're going to sell. This is the stuff that we're going to keep. You guys watch me pick up all this stuff. So I'm just going to quickly make a cut here, empty all the companions, get myself nice and cleaned up, put all of our ingredients uh, down here, all of our books that we collected from uh, Apocrypha. All those like really cool unique books that we got i'll put them in here and of course all the ingredients go in there all right so i'm just going to cut all that out just because you guys have seen it we have some body parts over here that are over here god and i just took a plate uh that i will take and we'll go summon a couple of those guys uh here in a little bit i want to go get lydia indicted into the blades and then get our new follower i'm sure you guys know who it is but if you don't then uh, you'll have to wait and see Okay, cool. So all of that's done. I failed to mention that we put our smithing ingredients in here. So all the dragon bones and a bunch of ores and things are in here. Uh, it's not actually a whole lot. Not enough to really do anything. We couldn't even get a level off of that, I don't think. There's like a few iron and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab some bones out of here. I'm not sure what we're missing. I'm going to figure that out really quick. Actually, let's just, let's just take one of each and then we will go make... Actually, let's take two of each. We'll go make two skeletons. Uh, after we indict Lydia into the blades. Okay, so here we are at Skyhaven Temple. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and indict Lydia. Fandel's actually back here. Hey, what's up, man? Dragonborn, what do you need? I need nothing. How you doing? Looking real good in that armor. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave Lydia with all of her crap on, but yes, my th I am gonna take that ebony helmet because it's kind of part of my set. What do I have on Very right good, now? Oh, we have a we have a better mask. Anyway, I'm taking the helmet just just so we have a complete ebony set. All right, let's talk to Delphine and uh, indict Lydia real quick. You look kind of weird. That makes you look like a Khajiit, kind of. Looks pretty cool, though, to be honest. We heard the news from Whiterun that you left the city on the back of a dragon. That's a little showy, even for you. Wait, what? I've heard Since this dialogue alive, before. I why is she saying this again? To report. Uh, I don't know why God, this is happening. When you walked into my inn that day, I never imagined... Uh, I brought someone to induct into the blades. Dra you want this one to become a blade? You sure? I'm absolutely positive. Get her out of my hair. Very well. I'll do the oath later. Let's just get him geared up and ready to fight. I can handle training one more. After that, I think we'll be ready for a little dragon hunting of our own. You've done it. Just as the prophecy said. This- I'm- I'm gonna I get out of here. These people are like saying that stuff again from the main quest. I'm not sure why the hell they're doing that. We've already heard that before because we've completed the main quest. But yeah, now Lydia is a blade. That's really cool. We need- as uh, Delphine said, we need one more person. And then we can move along with that storyline. I'm not sure what that is. I've actually never done that, and I'm not sure who the next person Another is going to be. It could be our next companion that we're about to go grab, place for but I don't really know. Get together. Yeah, you've said that before as well, Indigo. Okay, so I'm going to head out of here. Good luck, Lydia. By my honor, I pledge to rid Tamriel of dragons. All right. Yeah, she did a good job as being our follower. She was a good tank. She was definitely battle tested. She pulled her fair share of traps and uh, was the guinea pig for quite a few of those. Uh, all right. So now. We're gonna go to the Bone Altar near Windhelm, and I think I'm just gonna return to Solstein after that. And uh, we might end the episode there. It's been a lot of random crap in this episode. But uh, sometimes you gotta do this in Skyrim. You gotta organize your inventory, you gotta like rearrange your followers and things like that. And uh, you know, train your enchanting and whatnot. Okay, let's head to that Bone Altar. Okay, here we are at this Bone Altar. Let's go ahead and summon Scully back. Let's see if we can summon two from the same altar. I'm not sure if we can. Conjuration increased to 38. Nice. Alright, let's try that again. You there, Scully? Oh, God, it's good to see you. And looks like he's got a... Whatever that is. Not a battle axe. A maul or something? What's that called? I don't know. He's got a different weapon now. Let's see if we can use this again. Damn it. You need at least one of each bone. I could have swore that I grabbed two of each bone, so that's kind of weird. Maybe it's a limit one per altar. Alright, let's head back to Solstein now and go pick up our new follower. Okay, so here we are back I at Solstein. We're actually way. in the Shaman's sorry. Hut. Um, and our new follower is going to be Freya. I probably should have picked her up earlier because she's relevant to this uh, place. And she probably has some like cool dialogue that goes along with Solstein. Um, but I just wanted to wrap up that like killing Mirak thing because we were just in and out of uh, Apocrypha. And our companions weren't even there with us for the most part. But now we're going to be doing a bunch of side quests. Trying to get a piece of property here in Solstein. And just helping out the residents generally. And seeing uh, about the rest of those black books. We have to go talk to that dark elf. I can't remember his name. Um, but yeah, I want Freya to be with us when we are doing that. Just to see if she's got any interesting dialogue. Oh look, there's her dad's bed and it's empty. <laughs> That's just about the saddest thing I've ever seen. All right, Freya, get up. My father was a noble man, and a true skull. Might as well ask her this. Are you sure you're ready to be shaman of the skull? I have been preparing for it all of my life. There is no question that I'm ready, but... But what? What is it? It is not right that I should say this, because I must honor my father's wishes, but... This is a path I never chose. I always thought that I would be a great hunter, or even the village chieftain. That could still happen, couldn't it? <laughs> Not if Fenari has anything to say about it. When it comes to being chieftain, she is like a wolf with her jaws clamped tight upon a fresh kill. But that's all right. The Skull need a shaman, and I know that is my place. All right, follow me. I need your help. I wonder if she'll come with us, actually. I will follow you, Skull friend. But I must return to the village afterward. Yeah, 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 of course. Oh, she probably can't be indicted into the blades because of that. My heart is still heavy with the loss of my father. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I need to trade some things with you. Very well. I want to see what she has on her. She's got a Nordic bow. Stalrum War Axe. I don't think we've ever seen one of those. What the hell is that? That must be unique to her. I have no idea what that is. Why is it like the A and the E is like merged together? She has two of them. Why aren't you using those? 
I wonder if she'll use them if I take both of these. She better, those are awesome. Let's take all of her junk. She's got a bunch of junk that I don't want her to have. Yeah, these must be unique to her. She's been using this one a little bit, but not this one. Absorb 10 points of health, take 15 points of shock damage. Target takes 15 points of shock damage. And this is the same thing, but frost damage. All right, that's really cool. So yeah, she should Let dual wield those. Um, and that'll be really nice, because that is our first dual wielded uh, companion. All right, guys, uh, this episode has been kind of weird. It's a lot of jumping around, doing a whole bunch of random stuff, a lot of inventory management, and just leveling up our enchanting and things like that. Uh, but we managed to accomplish a couple of things. We got Scully here. We indicted Lydia into the blades, which is good. We moved that quest a little bit further. We just need one more person into the blades, and then we can go do something. I don't know. I think she said slay a dragon. And yeah, now we got Freya. So that's going to be really cool to have her around. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.